Hey y'all, how are you doing? Today's video we're going to be doing some portrait studies using colored pencils. Mine are the Prismacolor Premiere um, and I'm going to be doing this in a very in a more realistic style. So buckle up if you want to see me do that. Um, before we get into the actual process, I want to say that today's video is kind of simple and the reason for that is because I've been really struggling with anxiety lately and it's been a really really busy week i've been also having really bad migraines and this is all i could whip up for you guys but i hope you enjoy it nonetheless um so yeah i guess that's all i have to say i want to get into the process and kind of explain to you what i try to do when i'm approaching something that i'm not a hundred percent comfortable with or just like trying to figure out as I go and that's the case definitely for these I'm very comfortable with portraits don't get me wrong but when it comes to coloring them it's usually for me it's one of two things it's either really bad or pretty decent and to make sure it was pretty decent for this video I went through a few steps and I want to go over those with you in case you are also struggling with your confidence in doing portraits or anything similar to this or more realistic studies um, and yeah so First things first, I start with a simple sketch. I don't overdo them, I don't shade a lot of the sketch, I just lay down things, I focus on proportions, I focus on, you know, making sure that certain areas that I want to be present are present, and if the shapes are too intricate, too detailed, I'll just like, um, as I did with the curls of the second portrait I'm uh, painting, drawing um i'll just block in the shapes and then go in when i'm drawing and kind of do it more like i don't know intuitively you know um so after having like that most simplified sketch i'll then like erase half of it right like with a kneaded eraser just to have just a slight touch of like the sketch underneath what i'm drawing and then i go in with the colors now so the way I went about this was I chose, I first off chose the colors that I was seeing in the reference picture and I tried to like exaggerate the colors that I was seeing. So if I was seeing a more blushy tone, I, would, I went for a pinkish, but then I knew there was a shadow where the contour of the face was going to be. So I went for a, like an exaggerated shadow instead of going brown, I went a dark reddish color because that complements the pinkish, you know, and it kind of went like that. Um, for the darker skin tones, I really love adding oranges and yellows and reds so i also did that even for the shading i went with like purples and dark reds instead of going in with just like dark brown you know or just black in general um so i just started i just did that exercise in my mind before starting the portraits and not during so it just simplified you know the process for me and then I went in and laid a base layer um, of color. Now, mind you, this is a habit I have. It's not necessarily a good one. So in this case, it was pretty good because it, it laid the base. I put my colors on top so I knew what the colors would look on, like the more general color of the portrait. And then I went on top of that later on with that base color and did it all over again and like deepened everything. So. It was a whole process, so this time it worked, but in certain parts, in certain pieces, depending on the medium you're using, it might not be the best approach to start with the base layer, um, unless you're doing like an underpainting or something like that. So in this case, I did start with that, and then I went slowly, color by color, adding them to the portrait as I saw them. And I went very lightly with these, and even the darkest colors, I went very lightly. When I say very lightly, I mean feather light, okay? We do not want to exaggerate. And with this type of pencil, it can get really, really waxy, which isn't to your benefit at all. Because pr Prismacolor pencils, like when they get, when you go really ham with them, and they, they reach a limit of what they can draw. They won't draw more on top of anything if they're too waxy. So you have to really be careful to not overdo it. Plus, for the look that I was going for, I wanted this to be a very textured pencil look. And so I didn't want to have those like very, very opaque areas as one can have with these pencils. So I went very, very lightly and started to build up. The key here is to go slowly, to go very lightly to you know like brace yourself be patient trust the process it won't always look good 
um, and then slowly add the detailing. So you go from broader areas to more detailed areas, okay? And make sure you don't exaggerate with the darker tones, with the darker colors that you're going to be using so that you don't oversaturate like your, your piece and then you don't have like different values in different areas of the face, which is very important to then like, you know, help people perce perceive the like dimensions of the face in a way um when it comes to hairs i do want to say i'm a very very simplistic hair person i don't usually add too much detail i try to give some detail but not too much because for me the center of attention is the face so i'm not going to add too much detail to the hair i do want to become a bit better with that i do want to add more detail in the future but for this particular drawing that's not what i was trying to achieve so i didn't add too many details plus for the curly hair girls that was already a lot of detail the curls already add a lot of texture and detail so adding even more detail on top of that i felt was going to steal the thunder away from the faces that i was having so much like thought into and like hard work put into and i didn't want that to happen so yeah uh i focus on the broader strokes and then went into the more detailed and again always building up i think that's the trick when you're really unsure of what you're doing don't go ham on it you know don't just like commit go slow take it easy trust the process you know don't make any like decisions that will be like done and done you know uh with this pe with these pencils it was what i was saying earlier it's like adding too much of like the product onto the paper and then it gets too waxy and you can't work with it so i was trying to avoid that because if you make a mistake you can later on fix it whether if you go on all ham with the pencils right in the beginning you won't be able to fix anything so make sure that you're taking it slow um and really just you know taking your time and being patient with the process um if you haven't if you're having a harder time to choose like colors and stuff um try to like go to towards a color that you're not super uncomfortable with but you're not super comfortable with so for example dark skins i love 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 painting and coloring dark skin i love it so much because i see the colors so perfectly versus like really light skin um, so if you're like looking at the cheek and it seems orangey to you, but you don't want to go full orange, go for like an orangey brown, for example, or go for like a darker orange instead of a brighter orange. Um, so it doesn't pop off too much and you can go lighter and build up on top of that. If you see a shadow and you're unsure if it's like purple or bluish or, you know, just choose a lighter color, one that's not like too vivid, too, you know, bright, but that's also light. Um, and that you can just, you know, lightly dab it and try it out. That's what I did with the first portrait. I added, I don't know if you've noticed, but I added a little bit of blue pencil to the first portrait in the shadows. And that was an experiment to me. I didn't want to risk it too much because I kind of like the purple a lot more. Um, but I still tried and I think it looks pretty good and I do want to do that more in the future. So just try it, but don't overcommit to it again, you know? keep experimenting the idea is to like practice with a purpose my purpose in this was to like stretch out the colors you know experiment a bit more with the colors that i was going to choose and really just take it slow and take it easy what i've been talking about this entire video so definitely putting a objective a purpose into your study instead of just like i'm just gonna copy this photo is a lot better setting an intention is a lot better for your practice than not doing it at all uh trust me when i tell you that's going to make you improve a lot more than just mindlessly drawing so setting an intention following through with it and really like taking it easy trusting the process is definitely the way to go um it is like again a process and um you know throughout the, throughout this process you might think what the hell am i doing and trust me i thought about this in the third portrait i was like fucking hell how is this like how am i gonna finish this because it was looking too much it was it was just too much i wasn't being able to like deliver how i wanted to deliver and i was having a harder time to like put the brown in without losing the orangey tone of the skin so it was a process but i had to trust it i had to take it slow and just build up build up and trust the process and it went there so definitely if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed you know and you need a break take a break but just you know 
it will get there and if it doesn't it's just a fucking drawing you have opportunities to do it later you know um in this case i didn't but that's my particular situation but you definitely have the opportunity of trying better next time this week's video was going to be a completely different thing i was going to do an oil painting and then i messed it up from the start um, and it looks terrible when I tell you it looks terrible it looks terrible but I haven't given up on it I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to start over and try it again maybe not the same design but I'm gonna try oil painting again I'm not gonna give up on it so that's the thing we will make mistakes we will um, you know expect really high things for certain paintings and drawings and not achieve it and it's fine um, and it like it will happen okay so just you know take it easy and calm and whatnot and it will get there and i guess that's like all i have to say um i don't have a lot more to explain from this because i literally used uh these like this little process that i was explaining to you guys um throughout this whole entire thing um so i do hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of this um i'm very thankful for you to tuning in on this week's video it was a bit of a stressful week like i said in the beginning but i'm pretty glad that you joined me and i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a comment down below letting me know which one of the portraits you like best and let me know if this is something you'd like to see in the future more of you know just these random sketch pages from my sketchbook i do plan on be working a lot more on my sketchbook for future videos because i do want to put in time in my sketchbook so making it a video makes me have to you know um but let me know if there's anything particular that you'd like to watch from me and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing and following me on other socials and yeah that's the shameless plug is all done i will see you guys next weekend with another video bye